An Introduction to Condition-Based Main Tenants In industrial and manufacturing settings, equipment breakdowns are inevitable. But what if there was a way to predict when a breakdown is about to happen? This is the premise of Condition-Based Main Tenants CBM. CBM is a type of predictive main tenants that uses data and analytics to detect impending equipment failures so that main tenants can be performed before a breakdown occurs. In this blog post, we will provide an overview of CBM, including its benefits and some common CBM techniques. What is Condition-Based Main Tenants? Condition-Based Main Tenants CBM, is usually categorized as a type of predictive main tenants that uses data and analytics to detect impending equipment failures so that main tenants can be performed before a breakdown occurs. CBM techniques can be used on any type of equipment, from production line machinery to vehicles to HVAC systems, but it is particularly well-suited for critical assets such as turbines, motors, pumps, and compressors. By detecting equipment problems before they cause downtime, CBM can save businesses time and money. What is the main objective of condition-based maintenance? As Byron A. Ellis, consultant and executive director of the Jethro Project, TTE, shares in his condition-based paper, the objective of CBM is to minimize the total cost of inspections and repairs by collecting and interpreting intermittent or continuous data related to the operating condition of critical components of an asset. This is in contrast with traditional preventive maintenance, which is carried out at fixed intervals regardless of the actual condition of the asset. This is to allow inspections to be conducted on a regular basis in order to identify anomalies in equipment and trigger timely follow-up work orders as well. Benefits of Condition-Based Main Tenants There are several benefits of condition-based main tenants, including For example, in the oil and gas industry, CBM can be used to detect corrosion or blockages in pipes before they cause significant damage. Using advanced monitoring technologies like vibration sensors and infrared cameras, technicians can isolate changes in vibrations or temperature that indicate an issue developing, even if changes are very slight. By addressing these minor issues before they lead to catastrophic failures or full system shutdowns, oil and gas companies are able to significantly reduce the amount of downtime their operations experience. Similarly, in automotive manufacturing plants, CBM can be used for predictive main tenants on both automated systems like robotic arms and manual processes like welding stations. By installing sensors around production lines, technicians can create automated alerts based on thresholds of performance metrics such as temperature, pressure, sound, speed, and vibration. When one of these metrics rises beyond a certain level, it sends an alert that indicates an issue needs attention before it causes serious downtime. A major problem in the automotive production plan from motor industry statistics is associated with unexpected downtime, explained Moyahabo Dominic Ramir et. All in their paper on optimization of condition-based main tenant strategy prediction for aging automotive industrial equipment using FMEA. Enhanced Safety By identifying potential safety hazards before they occur, CBM can help keep workers safe on the job. For example, many companies use CBM to monitor their fleet vehicles and other mobile equipment. Improved Decision-Making CBM provides businesses with data-driven insights that can help improve decision-making around preventive main tenant strategies. Common Condition-Based Main Tenants Techniques there are several common CBM techniques that are used to detect equipment problems, including but not limited to. Vibration analysis. Vibration analysis involves using sensors to measure the vibration levels of equipment. This data can then be analyzed to identify potential problems, such as imbalances or misalignments. Thermography. Thermography involves using infrared cameras to take some kind of pictures of equipment, which are called thermographs. 
These thermographs can then be analyzed to identify potential hotspots that could indicate an impending failure. For example, thermography can be used on electrical systems to detect loose connections or faulty wiring. This technique can also be used to examine motors and other equipment, such as bearings and drive shafts, to detect possible overheating that could indicate problems with components or lubrication. Oil analysis. Oil analysis involves sending samples of lubricating oil from equipment to a laboratory for analysis. The results of this analysis can then be used to identify potential problems, such as excessive wear or contamination. Ultrasonic testing. Ultrasonic testing involves using sound waves to detect anomalies in equipment. This data can then be used to identify potential problems, such as cracks or corrosion. Electromagnetic testing. Electromagnetic testing involves using magnetic fields to detect anomalies in equipment. As described by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, NASA, it consists in inducing electric currents and magnetic fields inside a test object and observing the electromagnetic response. Eddy current testing. Eddy current testing involves using electrical currents to detect anomalies in equipment. This data can then be used to identify potential problems, such as cracks, pitting, or corrosion that may be invisible to the human eye. Closing thoughts. Condition-based maintenance, CBM, is a type of predictive maintenance that uses data and analytics to detect impending equipment failures so that maintenance can be performed before a breakdown occurs. While there are several benefits of implementing CBM, some disadvantages must be considered, including a high initial investment, the cost of the required training to apply the corresponding techniques, and possible asset modifications to retrofit the system with sensors that may be required. In any case, CBM tends to be an excellent solution when weighing the benefits against such disadvantages.